Hello, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are at the welcome screen in Power Director. And here we are in part one of an eight-part series we're calling Basic Training for Power Director Ultimate. Here from the welcome screen, we have a number of options. We can go into the full feature mode, which is where we're going to spend most of our course in timeline mode and storyboard mode, pretty much exclusively in timeline mode. That's the full feature editor. In fact, you have an option right here, a checkbox to always enter in timeline mode. So you don't even stop at the welcome screen. You go directly into the full feature program, but it's worth checking out what's here because you have the option of going into the slideshow creator, a pretty cool little wizard that'll help you create some very nice looking slideshows. The 360 editor for editing videos that wrap completely around the viewer and auto mode. Let's take a quick look at auto mode because it's pretty cool. Auto mode launches the magic movie wizard, a wizard for helping you create a movie virtually automatically or semi-automatically anyway, because you do have some options in here. All we need to do is go from screen to screen and follow the prompts. So if I click on import your videos and photos, I can select to import a video file. And on the screen that opens, we can grab a number of files. I'm just going to grab some at random here. I can do that, of course, by holding down the shift key and grabbing the first and last in a series or holding down the control key and selecting individual files. We'll click open. And once we've got our assets, we can click next and the wizard will take us to our style options. You notice up in the upper left hand corner, there's one called free download. If you click on that, it'll take you to the director zone. That's a free site where there are close to a million effects, styles, music clips and sound effects, a lot of really cool stuff that's free. Most of it contributed by fellow users who put it up there. Well, we're checking out here, but some very nice templates that are just a part of the program. So I'm going to select wallet of media and click next. Now, by the way, before I click next, I can also click the settings button here. And if I do that, you can see I have some options for customizing, including adding my own background music. I believe the template has its own music and setting the length of the output, those sorts of things. But we'll go with the template as is for now. And if I click next, the program will then take the template and my media and generate a little movie for me. Once it's created a movie, we can customize our titles. Right now it's just called my video. I'm going to call it our bike adventure. And you can give it a subtitle and some end titles. And then you play it and preview it and see if it's to your liking. Kind of a cool little movie. If we're happy with it, we click the next button and then we have the option of either producing the video, in other words, creating a movie from it, creating a disc from it, or sending it over to the timeline editor where we can do some advanced editing with it. A very cool tool, fully automatic or virtually fully automatic, but let's go back to the welcome screen. And this time we'll open up in the timeline mode. By the way, pretty much all you need to do to set up your power director project is select the aspect ratio and the program does four by three, which is the old aspect ratio for old televisions that were almost square, 16 by nine, which is kind of the standard now, and even nine by 16, which is upright when you're holding your phone upright and you take video. But let's open up in timeline mode. And here in timeline mode, we have our full featured professional style editor. And that's where we're going to spend most of our time in the next seven sessions as we continue with basic training with CyberLink Power Director.